Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Righty, so in that video of like uh, singers that went viral in the Philippines yeah. in 2020, there was a, a very peculiar video of this small little human, a wonderful kid, just <laughs> singing in a chair with karaoke. Do you remember that? And we were like, God, what the hell? How old is that little fella? And uh, no one knows. But uh, so <laughs> and no one knows. That was the answer. <laughs> but everyone was like, that's so funny that you guys are so surprised by that. Because here, kids learn karaoke, like between zero to six months. You know what I mean? And they listen to <laughs> that's like... That's a tearing pr- training someone, period. Someone amazingly sent me this text. It was a screenshot of a comment in the video that I had read before, but I, I had to again. Which he was like, he says, this is not scientific fact, just my observations. And he put, this is the music that kids are exposed to by month or year period. Like, zeros <laughs> to six months, 80s to 90s classics. Nine, <laughs> uh, six to two years old, it's like 70s to 60s. And it's like, and then it, it, go, it goes all the way up. And then, if, you know, people were like, yeah, this is completely normal. Like, it's an amazing video, of course. It's impressive, that's why it went viral. But kids here sing all the time. And then someone said, you guys should check out Esang de Torres. Uh, again, apologies if I'm pronouncing any names wrong. Right, who they seem, I think it's two little girls, yeah. and they seem to be very, very young, uh, on the wish bus, and uh, and the the whole comment said that you know music really has no age, age and it, of course it doesn't, but it's still mind blowing. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> she's so Aww. bright. Wish one oh seven five. So small. That's a hard song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh man, these kids are special, dude. That's not normal. I don't, it, does, it doesn't register. I, I know everyone's saying it's normal. It's not. No. Okay. Shut the front door. Here's the here's the dealio. Let me let me drop you on some knowledge. Here is the thing. It's not One. wine. It's cranberry juice. <laughs> There's kids present. <laughs> here's the thing. Young kids have a natural tendency to be twangy. They they naturally because their la- larynx are set higher because obviously they haven't matured yet. So that's why, uh, with when when kids hit puberty, their voices drop. Females and males obviously, and males is more dramatic. But you got you got a natural drop, a natural change because larynx mature and they they harden a little bit, of course, and then they change posi- positions. For kids, young kids between under 10 years old, normally find it very difficult to find warmth in, in, in vocal tonality. They find it hard to find depth because uh, uh, their muscles in the side of the larynx being so small they and, and very flexible, it, they're not easily put in, in those settings. So they're resonant, they're lower, they're um, fuller and they're very hard to maintain in, in young kids' voices. There are some cases, of course, where uh, they naturally have that resonance. They naturally find those those lower larynx settings. But it's not common. It's not common, and she's very young. I, I would think that she's maybe five, six. Yes, yeah, she's very, very the, young. At the most. So... I've never seen anything like it's that. It's good to watch. I'm also interested for the older girl. <laughs> so cute. Wish 107.5. And it's a hard intro. Stop! My God! Oh, and even modulation? You're talking... She's a grown woman. Oh, Come on! <laughs> Excuse my language. Salamat, salamat, 
Understands very well each section of the song and what it demands, what it re like, what it requires from her vocal capabilities. Who's that dad? Who's that mom? Like, I'm sorry, this kid has. She has. She has. Um, it, it's. Uh, we were discussing this oh, the other day. Oh, it has it all. We were discussing this the other day. Um, in in sports, one of the things you notice in a professional or a full timer. Actually, you notice this mainly. Yeah. Uh, just when they turn pro, that they develop this sort of awareness. What we, is she? We, we call it we call it spatial awareness in, in, in sports, right? We were discussing this the other day where, you know, martial artists cover their eyes and then they can know where they are. They can't fight. That's Hollywood. It's not fucking real. But <laughs> it's like, you know, they, they, they know where, where, where things are. Spatial awareness in tennis, you know where you are. You become very instinctive. In music, what occurs is uh, maybe... Uh, more often referred to as muscle memory, but it, there is a certain uh, musical awareness and uh, uh, like sectional. Uh, uh, um, you you understand that there are segments to music mm -hmm. and segments to songs. Yes. And that each segment requires different things, mm -hmm. different demands, different presence. They have different dynamics. This girl has emphasis. This girl has modulation. I have seen. Full of grown up adults that are professional, that get paid in the industry, that don't even know how to do half the things she's doing. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she's never seen a singing lesson in her whole entire life. Don't know. Would be a bold yes. assumption, it seems, right? In the Philippines, bloody hell, everyone just seems to sing. Go on. At the moment, she's 14 years old. Yeah, what is she up to now? Um, it doesn't say much, but it says it's a Leah Tanonga Kulini me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no joke. And Lea Talonga is her coach. Ah, she's her coach now. I can totally see that. There, there is so much maturity and understanding in this clip alone. That it's got, like I said, depth and modulation. There was, there was sections there where she knew how much volume she needed to adjust for the song. The song is complicated. It has very hard rhythmical patterns that dictate section to section. Well, it's similar for to kids, what like Gary Valenciano likes to do with a lot of songs. Yes, and, and for kids, this is it is not an easy concept, and this is is Juan Carlos. Like. This is this is uh what suggested by? Ah uh, no, it's not. Um, is no, it's Salah. It's not her song. Is uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know whose song is it. Might but be her song. Might not. I don't, I don't think it is. This is a very old type of like 80s arrangements right. um but dude it's just so complicated i am yeah, totally my <laughs> Oh, she 
Alright, she had a coach in there. She had coach in there. She, um, so, some, so, somebody so, must. Yeah. Mom and dad bought singles. Okay. Oh, yeah, she, she there you go. She there you go. Yeah, I, that's such an easy tell. She know, okay, here comes Climax. Remember, baby, you gotta come off, get off the mic. Yeah. Hold your breath. You need a big breath for that one last. Okay, mommy. Yeah, she's seen it, been there. It, 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 it's that, that, okay. That. No, listen. I will not accept. I don't care. And I don't if you care. tell me she's never had lessons, I will throw away all my knowledge. I know no, nothing. <laughs> I, I know, Efra. I don't care that she's got somebody telling her this is how you do it. Doesn't take credit away. It makes no, it even more impressive. What the hell? She's I, a I'm going to stop saying that I'm a singer. <laughs> She make me want to renown my title. I know nothing. <laughs> this is... I just don't understand. I love finding videos like this. They make you question everything in life. But it's just fantastic. Oh, my God. The uh, talent. I would love... I would love to see her now singing, like, a musical piece from, like, Miss Saigon or Le Miss or something that is big yeah, well, and energy and, like, emotionally packed because... The, the, what is it called? The, the, the colors were already there. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, this girl would totally murder here in the West End. She's yeah. fantastic. Well, she's getting coached by Leah, mate, so, right now. So, she's on the right path. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'd love to know more about her and if she has any more work. We would be more than happy to check it out. Yes.